China is in the throes of the largest wave of urbanization in history. Almost half the population live in one of China's 850 cities, and the number is growing. In 20 years, the urban landscape will be transformed. 170 new mass transit systems, 50,000 new skyscrapers, 5 billion square meters of new roads, 200 million new urban jobs. Only part of what is needed to make way for the expected 350 million new urban residents. By the year 2030, the number of people living in China's cities will pass the one billion mark. Is China ready? Urbanization is arguably the most fundamental factor in China's economic development.、Uh, over the last 20 years, it's been responsible for most of China's economic growth, most of its investment, and most of its、uh, productivity enhancements. What we looked at was: Is that going to continue? And what's the future of China going to look like? The McKinsey Global Institute estimates that, based on current trends, China will have over 220 cities with more than one million people by the year 2025. GDP per capita will quadruple. China is on track to become the third largest consumer market in the world. The opportunities are enormous. 同时呢，城市化呢又带动了基础设施的建设，又带动了人口的流动。在这个过程当中呢，它会使得整个经济有一个比较快速的、持续的一个增加。But rapid urbanization also poses challenges for China. Urban sprawl, demand for water and energy, gridlock, pollution, and the unprecedented mass migration of people into the cities. China is expected to see about 240 million migrants over the next 20 years.、Um, where will all these people go to? How will they be funded? They need education, they need medical, they need public infrastructure, they need housing. In this area, the government is facing huge challenges and challenges for the government. China is at a critical juncture. The economy 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 is at a critical juncture. 就中国经济和社会目前面临的很多问题呢，都取决于中国城市化的这个过程。如果城市化成功的话呢，都会有很好的一个、呃、结果。中国呢，如果在将来呢，如果没有一个非常清楚的一个决策的话呢，这个我们可能面临的呃一些很大的挑战。Research by the McKinsey Global Institute suggests an alternative for China's urban future. We call it urban productivity. Urban productivity is achieving the same or better economic results with fewer resources. So, simply put, it's getting more bang for your buck out of the urban investment. This requires dramatic change at both the national and local levels. China is today growing in a dispersed pattern of urbanization, with a large number of people living in small and medium-sized cities scattered across the country. Chinese urbanization has two trends. 一种就是集中化，还有一种就是分散化。那么集中化的好处呢，就是一方面呢，它在这个管理方面，在人才的利用方面，在创造这个 GDP， 在这个产业更新方面呢，它都有很强的这个凝聚力。Research by the McKinsey Global Institute suggests that national policies to promote concentrated urban growth will have the most positive impact on the economy, resources, and the environment. We think a concentrated pattern of growth could arguably take place in two different ways: a megacities. I mean, just、uh, imagine Shanghai times 15. Well, the other alternative would be a central city, and connected to that, a ring of satellite cities. Urbanization in China is fundamentally a local phenomenon. Our research shows that by adopting several local-level initiatives, city leaders can maximize urban productivity while enhancing the quality of life. Land use we're talking about is building up, not out. Transit-oriented development, where you put a subway next to a shopping mall inside of a residential complex with an office tower, so people can literally live, work, eat, and play all within the same area. 
resources, energy, water. We've always thought about the supply. We think now it's time to think about the demand. How to develop that demand most efficiently? Talent and skills. China historically has developed enough people to feed its economic machine, but now is the time to upgrade those skills. And finally, government productivity, enhancing the efficiency of government's own institutions, be they hospitals or the justice system. Our research shows that urban productivity policies and initiatives could bring immense benefits to China's economic and social development. 20% higher GDP per capita. Reduced public spending by 1.5 trillion renminbi per year. Decreased energy consumption by 20%. Substantially lower air and water pollution, and the creation of new business opportunities and new jobs. China is faced with the unique opportunity to shape its urban destiny. The past 20 years of China's urbanization has been enormously successful. The next 20 years, though, will see significant challenges because the scale is going to be even more enormous. China will have very little room to make mistakes. We think China is at an urbanization crossroads. It's a great opportunity for policymakers to make positive choices. The choices they make now will affect them not only for the next 20 years but for the next hundred. Should be eliminated is for the sake of urbanization. To achieve the size of the population, for example, to reach a population size, to achieve the size of the population, the urbanization development should be increased. 人民的生活水平应该联系在一起，把发展是放在改善人民的生活质量。